discover and why go Discover and why go Discover and why hey. Welcome to Aquaibo The best place to be Welcome to Aquaibo The promised land I discover Aquaibo A peaceful people So you are welcome Come on, come on. Once ago, I'm from Aquaibo. In case you don't know, Aquaibo, my yaya. Welcome to the new Aquaibo state. Today, through God's divine mandate, Aquaibom is blessed with Governor Dom Gabriel Emmanuel, who is committed to the industrialization of Aquaibom State, passionate in human capacity development and empowerment, creative in the area of agriculture, reliable in superior infrastructure, and focused on the Aquaibom project. Be part of the winning team. Come, let's build Aquaibom together. The progress of this thing. Life the, unit the human face posture of the Governor Udom Emmanuel led administration has led to the inclusion of all people of the state irrespective of their status or position in life. Courtesy of his government, lives have been positively impacted. The downtrodden now dine with kings and the less privileged now have someone to turn to. With Governor Udum Emmanuel, lives is good. That's the epicenter of this package of the program, Discover Aquibum. <music> Empowerment in the words of John Rampton isn't a buzzword among leadership gurus. It is a proven technique where leaders give their teams the appropriate training, tools, resources and guidance to succeed. Perhaps it is on this call that the Aquaibum State number one citizen premised his human empowerment initiative laced with capacity building of the beneficiaries. Unlike what obtains in all the places, Miss Emmanuel does not just give the people fish, as it were, but teaches them how to fish, as could be seen in the many empowerment program of his administration. Indigents of the state involved in one business or the other do not just do business for the fun of it, but as a truly commercial venture whereby profit must be derived. This consciousness was passed on by the governor himself, an established financial expert and manager who came into governance with his Dakada mantra to change the mindset of the people to see business as business. More and more people now look away from government's handout or what the government can offer. Rather, the focus now is on how to be fully established to provide for themselves, family members and associates. This didn't come without a price. The governor in his magnanimity has doled out millions of naira under various economic empowerment schemes to support the people to get on the starting block. The governor's economic empowerment policies formed an integral part of his administration in the last three years. This economic policy is built on the twin pillars of wealth creation through industrialization, geared towards increasing the level of participation in the mainstream economy through job creation, employment creation, and enterprise development. The hallmark is that Mr. Emmanuel is working to deliberately empower the people economically. 
people can now make more money and can afford to buy more. There is increase in income. Families are empowered. Job opportunities are increased. And there is further development of industries. Thank you for the government of Akwaibom State for the active that you bring to Akwaibom. Because I'm employed for that. I'm working on that on a tractor. And I get what to eat. I get my full turn now. Thank the state governor for making this uh, environment safe for us and also making opportunities for us to be able to supply our goods and be at safety. Come of no Emmanuel Udum Mbanga Nanga Yebende Aki Seben at Hori, Sir Rados and Mowena Mengani Sedia. He's a, a working governor. They call him um, talk and do governor, which actually I'm a beneficiary. He has empowered the lives of youths. Through the Zakada Fila, I've seen a lot of youths springing up, coming forth with a lot of things. We were too. They were empowered with a millionaire by the state's government. And this is this is part of the place. As in, this is um, the investment. The other guy, he gave a millionaire, which is into ICT and all of that. So the governor has really done a whole lot of things for the youths. He has empowered the youths. That's, that's why the, the saying, teach me how to fish and don't give me the fish, that is what he's doing. He has actually taught us how to fish and given us the fish. Because when you give the fish, we, we, we keep begging. But now we are empowered and from, from what he has done, we are able to touch other lives. As a prelude to the Industrial Revolution and in a bit to have the requisite manpower for the industries springing up in the state, the governor has approved the training of several youths from the three senatorial districts of the state. For instance, 11 youths were trained in Turkey on syringe production. I went to Turkey and all this experience is being gathered when I went to Turkey. I was trained on injection different uh, types of machines that is why you can see all of us here we can operate all the machines here hundreds of youths were trained in ict one of the cardinal agenda of this administration is on job creation and uh, the ministry of science have actually keyed in adequately into this vision in fact, in the last three years, we've done a lot of training programs to build up adequate capacity that will help the youths to be self-sufficient and be able to create jobs and also be skilled, acquire skills that will enable them to be employable. We've done a lot of training, especially in the area of ICT. As you very much know, ICT is now the tool used all over the world to create jobs, to create wealth. And Aquaibom State is not left behind. Several youths too have been trained on metering solution manufacturing. The Halliburton Oil and Gas Training Center in the EU trains youths with a prospect to work in the oil and gas sector. Late last year we also partnered with Halliburton to build a world-class oil and gas training and research center here in the EU capital. Aquaibom State is the largest producer of oil as of now. We want to reposition our youths to ensure that they are able to gain employment into the oil and gas sector. And I, so I believe that this oil and gas training center will help in this direction. The curriculum for the center is out and we have close to about 200 different areas of specialization. 
and currently we have started training also in partnership with a global leader in welding Honda heavy industry we have set up a welding and fabrication training center here in Okwaibom to train our youth especially in welding that's related to the oil and gas sector subsea drilling and all other type of drilling the Okwaibom government with Hyundai who partnered together to train us I'm now a welder in which I have something to show somebody that I can be able to do in my hand. I'm now bear in mind that I can weld a pipe in which Nigeria today they are doing on oil. So after welding, I can be able to provide like dogs, iron dogs then and other other things then. You can come up with the state government. In Amia and the youth of a Bible state, in your same manner, because do not want them in Gangs and Sang and Trenama anything, but two Udum 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 Emmanuel, Adoka Rukara. So we may make many years and Namu about them. Young God is no one day. The establishment of Aquaibom Employment and Enterprise Scheme, ACIS, was intended to take young people off the streets and into work through trainings, partnerships, franchise schemes, internships and so on. The scheme has the objective to reduce youth unemployment by 50% by year 2020. ACTIS is um, Aquaibom Enterprise, or it's an acronym for Aquaibom Enterprise and Employment Scheme. It was a scheme well thought through by the governor in 2015. He said it would be provide one of the vehicles to take our young people off the streets and into work. And uh, unfortunately, when we started, uh, People didn't know what it was. They thought the last E was empowerment. It's different. This one is employment, not empowerment. What do young people know to be empowerment? They see people sharing money. You give people money, they said, I've been empowered. That is not empowerment. It's actually enslavement. In that case, we don't share money. We said, learn or earn while you learn. So you start something create money, make mistakes, and people are there to correct you. And I'm happy to tell you that now we have so more than a hundred small and medium uh, enterprises generating revenues for their businesses, paying themselves salaries, and also adding to the economy of the state. More than 1,500 youths have been employed. Over 100 businesses have been either created or reinforced. When I get started, that is where I got the environment. And we do graphics for printing, then we train, we design. Among the success stories of our kids are the summer clothings with over 300 tailors signing off. You know, thank you, His Excellency, it can never be enough because he has done well for Fibre Mind. Um, are inclusive. You know, since we have started, we know that knowledge is universal. So there's nothing we can keep for our only ourselves. Initially, we trained about 300 people line up here. We showed them how to use these facilities. They are sophisticated equipment that meets 
the technical know how on how to man them. Some t-shirts, we made them right here. We sew them in here, like this one. This is made by Sunik. God bless Governor Odin Emmanuel. May God continue to sustain him and his family. I keep praying for him. Whatever the devil might try to do in order to, 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 to like confuse the public, I pray for God to enlighten the masses to know that Governor Odin Emmanuel means well for us. The scheme also recorded giant strides in agriculture with over 100 people providing lands for cultivation of tomato in partnership with Akis. I'm the consultant to Akis on agriculture, more especially fast moving or yielding vegetables and fruits. As you can see, we are planting uh, tomatoes, cucumber, watermelon, pepper, and uh, other vegetables here. Workers we have now, most of them are new. The people we started with in 2016, you have people like Precious, you have Stanley, you have Upong, and many others who are on their own now. <laughs> they are planting, some are consultants on their own, and some are having farms. And that is uh, the main objective behind the Aki's uh, dream. It is to empower them, to teach them their skills while they are earning. So when they are here, they are also earning money and, and learning skills at the same time. So when they leave this place, the small money they would have saved out of uh, working here, they can buy seeds. These hybrid seeds are not very expensive. And with the skills they have gathered from here, they can work on their own and make money for themselves. For this uh, Akis project, it has been a very helping and helpful to us here. Like the agricultural uh, plantation that is going on in the state, I'm also blessed to be uh, a supplier of the materials that is used to work in that um, a farm like the farms that is going on in Okobo and all round. Yeah. In the next one year, what you've heard will be tripled because now I have a lodge of people. If you had come earlier, you would have seen a young man just living here that has gone into production. And if I had known, I would have won a shoe produced by Akis Affiliate. Mm -hmm. There are many. The nice city. In uh, small and medium enterprises, in agriculture, in manufacturing, we have at least spread out. In agriculture, the government has trained more than 450 years on cocoa processing, subsidized fertilizers, oil palm, plantain, and cocoa seedlings, as well as hybrid grains have been distributed to farmers to improve agriculture production. A new introduction. We used to plant the old type of uh, plantain, and now we have received this one to go and try. I know God will make it fruitful as others want. Next year, we all the farmers, and even in my village, we will join him and push him forward, and God will bring him back for us in Jesus' name. Similar gesture was extended to more than 100 years, with more than 10 million naira disbursed to cater for small and medium scale businesses. More than 2 billion naira has also been disbursed to traders as interest-free loans. It is the plan and the dream of this administration that every trader in the five home state should be a beneficiary of this state. The governor has really encouraged both farmers and marketers to use our hands in doing things. That is when we have the the Kada initiative that is going on in Akwaibu State. He has really encouraged farmers and the markets as we here in the market, he has really encouraged us by giving us loans to run our business. So in that note, I personally recommend him for second term because he has really helped markets as business people to enlarge their business, to expand it. So we don't the, we, the market people, we are supporting him in his second term ambi uh, ambition. Tricycle or KK operators and commercial drivers have also received Dabna Udum's gesture to better their lot.
take the transport sector in the states to another level. Sports generally has come to be seen as a major money spinner and the governor is providing the youths the pedestal to rise to greatness in this sector. Consequently, the governor is building sports centers in the 10 federal constituencies in addition to hosting of youth sports festivals to discover budding talents. We believe that though not all abiding children were born with equal talents, they should be given equal opportunity to explore their inner potentials and that precisely is what this competition is all about. Let me also caution that whatever we spend in sports development is not an expense, but actually is an investment. As a government, our pledge and commitment is to make Akwaibo the sports capital not only of Nigeria, indeed of Africa. His Excellency Udomi Manduel has done a very great job for bringing out talent in Akwaibo State. I want to say may God bless him. Uh, we've had a tremendous number of uh, discoveries of a new talent. Quite a lot of young stars that we discovered that can represent uh, the states and the nation in the near future. I want to say to our dear governor and deacon, uh, congratulations for this feat. There is no doubt that Akwaibo has continued to remain a very peaceful state in all ramifications. This is because a greater percentage of active population is positively engaged one way or the other with very strong government support in some cases. After all, it is said that an idle man is a devil's workshop. Governor Emmanuel is working. Nakwaibon is working. Want to go home? I'm from Nakwaibon. In case you don't know, Nakwaibon, my yaya. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the new Nakwaibon State. Today, through God's divine mandate, Akwaibom is blessed with Governor Dom Gabriel Emmanuel, who is committed to the industrialization of Akwaibom State, passionate in human capacity development and empowerment, creative in the area of agriculture, reliable in superior infrastructure, and focused on the Akwaibom project. Be part of the winning team. Come, let's build Akwaibom together. The progress of this thing life will be units and love will show one another. This message is brought to you courtesy, Ministry of Information and Strategy, Akwaibom State.